All right. <clears throat> Hello, folks, and welcome to another live stream with me, Loinkulo. Looks like everything is set up half decently, at least decent enough for this Angelo. So, with all that said, let's see where we left off last stream. Looks like we're most of the way there. Wow. That's that's a lot of hearts. And one big fat death. For shame, for shame. It was probably Phantom Ganondorf doing his tricks. His hacks. Double lightning balls. Alright, so where to today? Let's see. We do have Oh yeah, that's right, we finished our uh our trading quest last time. We finished the terrible water temple. I suppose the natural progression would be to go to the shadow temple and deal with... Um, well, we've got the Lens of Truth, right? So yeah, we can go do that for sure. Ooh, cool. And I picked up the fire arrows at the end of last episode, so that was nice. And yeah, we still got some masks we can do as a child. Uh, I don't remember how that unlocks exactly, but we can do that eventually. Let's go back to looking green for now. We're done with the water temple. And uh, we need the hover boots, mirror shield, some bracelets, a couple more songs, a million skulltulas. I think there's only five pieces of heart left. Two bosses and two more... Heart container, like heart piece. Interesting. Also, hello, Ryan. Okay, so let's uh, let's head over to Kakariko Village then. I didn't need to do this. I didn't need to say. Maybe we'll run into a sheik or something. I forget. Pretty sure you have to. Yeah, the the only way you could learn the the. The song is if we head on over as an adult. They're not going to teach us as a kid. And hello, fella, and Benu, and David, all kinds of people showing up today. Hello, everybody. It's kind of a last minute surprise stream. So, uh. You know how it goes sometimes. Ah, uh, I guess we'll horse it. <laughs> ah, classic Blue Inkylo. Oh, well, I'm glad you enjoyed. I will probably continue the Gold Box series at some point. There are more old school Dungeons and Dragons games to play at some point. I don't actually think we save any time by summoning a opponent for this small trip, but it's fine. Yeah, the Crin series is definitely on my to-do list. And there's the Savage Frontier. There's two games for that as well, I think. Oh look, Navi wants to yell at us. Let's go learn stuff, yeah. This is like, this is where the game doesn't really tell you what to do very much, so. You're supposed to know just randomly you come here and the town's burning. Although mostly just the spider house. I guess the spider house and maybe the, uh, whatchamacallit, the archery game. Oh, hey man, what's up? Just hanging out? Um, we just started the stream like, like five minutes ago. Exploding well syndrome. Talk to your doctor. Look at the definition on that butt. Some serious cheek butt there. Ah, oh, he's dead. Now we'll have to save the world by ourselves. Alright, there's the, the mystery ghost. Climbing around on the top of the hills. 
Now, I suppose this is supposed to be some sort of Ganondorf curse, but... I don't think they ever really explained where all of this magic came from. I guess it's kind of like there was some evil in the well all along, and then now it's finally unleashed. Bongo Bongo is not that small. Well, maybe that was Bongo Bongo's younger offspring. I don't know. High definition windmill. Blue, a terrible thing. Maybe this is the plot that I forgot. The evil shadow spirit has been released. Impa, the leader of Kakariko Village, has sealed the evil shadow spirit in the bottom of the well. Seven years ago. But the force of the evil spirit got so strong, the seal of the well broke, and it escaped the world. That little piece of wood was the seal. Clearly. I believe Impa has gone to the Shadow Temple to seal it again. But she will be in danger without any help. Take your fairy bow and rescue her. Go, fairy boy, go. How does Sheik know that Impa's a sage? Shh. Everyone, everyone's a sage nowadays. There is an entrance to the Shadow Temple beneath the graveyard. The only thing I can do for you is teach you the melody that will lead you to the Shadow Temple. This is the melody that will draw you into the infinite darkness. That absorbs even time. Hmm, little tidbit there. You might have to go back in time if you haven't already got the Lens of Truth. I guess you could try a No Lens of Truth Shadow Temple run. That would probably be terrible. You could be correct, Aubrey. I don't really know the lore for Ocarina all that well, clearly. I... Mm. There we go. Another one of those songs I almost never use. But is Sheik a sage? Is Link a sage? Is Navi a sage? Find out next time on Ocarina of Time Z. Alright, thank you for the song. Let me take care of the village. I'm counting on you, Blue. Look, it started to rain. You don't have to do anything. You just play the Song of Storms, the rain starts, the fire goes out. Done. Alright. There we go, I remembered it. First try. <laughs> so yeah, because we conveniently already did the kids stuff, we don't have to bother right now. We can just warp right on over. Is that the same harp in Skyward Sword? That's, that's neat, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, I forgot to show off, actually. Now that I have this fancy dancy lens... No, it's not the lens of truth. Oh, I was thinking of the mask of truth. One day we'll get a mask that lets us talk to those things, and then you'll be your minds will be blown. Anyway, you know, we're just in the graveyard hanging out. It's cool. Hey Grotham, welcome to the stream. Welcome to I hope you learned fire magic. Because if you didn't have fire magic, you're not getting any further. And don't tell me that there's some sneaky way to shoot fire arrows and hit all the torches. I don't believe you. I tried. Long, long ago. It's clearly the most difficult of puzzles in the game. It's about as good as needing Bombos or Ether in uh, Link to the Past. The one time you need it. True Ninja Ankylos, yeah. Alright, and then here we go. We're, we're doing the Shadow Temple now. So we might want the Lens of Truth on, and we're gonna want Hookshot. Probably all the time. Yep, the uh, the upgraded textures are really, really good. I've been enjoying them a lot. And now we get to see what the Shadow Temple and Bongo Bongo look like. Alright, the Shadow will yield blah blah blah, just use your magic. Alright, so we push the little thingamajigger to turn the doors. Watch out for little pits. This is a, uh, if I remember correctly, this is where you need the hover boots or 
cheatery bomb jumping strategies. Oh, also, let's go to 30 FPS mode. Much smoother. Alright, um... Oh boy, it's been a long time since I've done this dungeon. Yeah, the Sacred Feet. Have I ever played anything from the Metal Gear series? I played uh, the first one, Metal Gear on the NES. So I guess before we push the little door spinner, let's go check this one out. Did I make the Goron Sword unbreakable? Clearly that was a scam. It was always unbreakable all along. Get the Eye of Truth. Alright. We've got the Eye of Truth. I'm so glad that Navi stops me every second to tell me the plot. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, it's just a... That's a good screenshot there. <laughs> I hate these things so much. But we can one-shot them, so I guess that's fine. No, you're right, Gotham. I was... <laughs> it's just the storyline for my playthrough that the, uh... The, the Fakeron sword was actually full quality. <laughs> because we killed the, um, I, 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 you, you might not have watched, you probably weren't here, but, uh, we did beat the, um, the Volvagia, the fire dragon. We beat him with the, uh, the giant's knife rather than the, the good one. And, uh, it didn't break for the dragon, so, so clearly it was, a it was a con making us do the entire fetch quest just to get a better sword. <laughs> Here is gathered blah blah blah. What is hidden in the darkest blah blah blah. Just use your magic. Oh, these things. Everyone's favorite. I wonder if he comes up to kill all his hands. Well, you just let the hand grab you. That's how you normally do it, right? Look, I've got a much bigger sword as an adult. You have no chance. What What are you doing? You want to fight me? This guy, this guy's kind of annoying. There we go. I'm pretty sure he'll only take like a couple jump slash. Diablo strats. Alright, here we go. Come on, I've got a really long sword. I'm sure you can hit him. <laughs> Link. Maybe it's because we're on 30 FPS mode he raises his head too quick. Feels like this is a little bit not working. There we go. Anyway, he's dead. It's fine. Oh, not Diablo. Diablos. You're still in Monster Hunter mode. You're not playing, we're not playing Diablo today. Anyway. Most difficult mini boss ever. Oh, the his head comes down. You're supposed to like hop back and then do a jump slash to hit his head quickly. Um, because I'm playing on 30 FPS, it's possible he raises his head quicker than normal. So it's really hard to get the timing in there and actually hit him. Some of the, the in-game timings for animations are just a little bit off. It looks nice, but doesn't always play right. Alright, now we've got the bunny boots. We can... Uh, Basically make everything ice is the main thing here. It's way better now that everywhere is ice. We'll just keep these on for the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. I guess Hyrule has some sort of dark evil history that you don't that I don't know about. Because all of the graves are like dark evil paths. Wasn't there? There's probably a compass in here somewhere.
Maybe. Let's have a look at the map real quick. Well, I did try, Grotham. I, uh, I, I, I used a bunch of hacks to fix a lot of the timings, but I don't think it's worked on absolutely everything. Certain enemies, like uh, Phantom Ganondorf, it definitely did not work on. What am I looking for? Where's my map? Map. Here's the map. Does it look like I've been everywhere? Yeah, probably. One to the side with the map, one to the other side with the uh, boots. Alright. Forgot how simple this top floor of this, uh, this place was. It doesn't get difficult till you go down to the, the next couple floors. Alright, so what's the point of pushing this thing around? Make my... Make my beak face the skull of truth. Oh, one of these is real. Right, right, right. So you just push it to the back to place the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Look at me almost remembering how to do puzzles. I'm surprised you can even push these things with the hover boots on. Are you happy? There, okay, that's... Okay, and thanks to the magic rabbit boots, we can... Nope. You know what? I bet you the hover boots also have less durability with the uh, 30 FPS mode. Are they going to make me re- Oh no, they don't make me re-push it around every time. Let me try one more time to see if I can get this without, uh, actually, you know what? We'll put a safe state here. Ah, that sucks. Alright. This time back in 20 FPS. There we go. So now... Yeah, it definitely lasts the right amount of time. Well, that's... That's gonna be annoying. The, uh, the magic rabbit boots... Well, clearly, once chat catches up with the video, or once the video catches up, you'll be able to see. Yeah, unfortunately, we're gonna have to switch back and forth to 20 FPS mode pretty often. The Skull of Truth is random each game? Oh, that's neat. Maybe a little bit too early there, yeah. Oh, right, none of these are... Some of these are actually walls you can go over. No. How did I not hit this thing? There we go. <laughs> Good thing I have all those hearts. So is this, uh... I bet you I can get a fairy here or something, right? Keeping the hover boots on while fighting Twin Rover would be easier. Oh, ah, uh, probably not so much, yeah. Unless you can make the jump across to the, uh, the side platforms. We'll see when we get there. Yeah, it's, it's just, basically, when the game is running in 30 FPS, it looks nice. Like, all the animations are a little bit more fluid. But some of the timing in-game is meant for 20, so how long you can hover is tied to 20 FPS mode, basically. So if you're if the game is running 50% faster, you actually can't... Like, the, the hover boots will fail, you know, 50% shorter time, or however it works out. So, um... Basically, we just have to, uh... Switch back and forth once in a while. Alright, we gotta go find some keys. All right. Well, it's a good thing I've got all those fairies because this is where we take all the damage. Gotta check for pits too, because if not this room, these sorts of rooms love to put uh, pits in the way. That'll do. Oh, uh, hover boots! I, uh, I did not miss the hover boots very much. They are... <laughs> they're fun, but they're so annoying to use. <laughs> I must be missing one somewhere. 
probably in a little alcove. Thirty FPS has less invincibility frames. Could be. I I don't know. That might have been fixed. Some of the basic stuff was uh was patched out in some of the uh, AR codes, but I don't know. Okay, there's one of your pits. Nabby, you want to read that for me? The wall says something. It says if you want to see a fairy to the other world, come here. That's hilarious. <laughs> There we go, this is where we need to. This is our key. No, I believe you, Ryan. I, I'm just saying that I know the uh, the error codes patched a lot of the, uh, or at least some of the, uh, the timing errors, but... See, I knew you could roll under those if you timed it right. <laughs> I'm just not good enough. I think when I was younger, I used to, like, actually know the timing to roll underneath the signs. Made things a bit easier. What do we get in here? Oh, extra mummies. Come on. Wow. I hate these things so much. Come on, just kill it. There we go. With the big sword, they take, like, one jump slash. I just can't quite get... You can crouch under them? Oh, maybe. Rolling seems way cooler, though, if you want to be a ninja. Uh, sexy great fairies. Uh, once we get to the spirit temple, there's one more. So, we have to finish the shadow temple and then head to the desert, basically. Uh, fire lights them on fire, but it doesn't kill them in one shot the last time I used it. I tried in, um, the kids' well, because there was another room with the, uh, whatever the name of the, the mummy-type things are. Gibdos or something. Um, and it definitely did- it lit them on fire, but it definitely did not kill them in one shot. Now that might be a mistake due to the, uh, <laughs> the FPS again, possibly. All right, here we go. Down, down we go. All oh, right, spiders. You just watch some other guy. Well, the fairies probably look way better in in my HD version. Hold on. That's right. We can just use the hook shot. What am I doing? Waiting around for these things. At least they kept the original music for this dungeon. Well, for me, all the music is original. It's only changed if you're playing the 3DS. That's good, I made it, it's fine. That's all that matters. Thanks, Navi. Interrupting fairy. All right, the giant knife room. That's pretty fast knives. I was watching the animations, and then I got killed by a hand. All the way back to the beginning. Uh, don't read chat while playing the Shadow Temple, everybody. Alright, thank you. Thank you, Navi. Thank you, everything. Thank you, Navi. Please stop reading everything to me. The Fire Temple had chanting version. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see when we get there. All I know is that we should be playing it on the original style, with uh, with mo crescent moons and all that. And uh, if you're playing on the 3DS version, then a few things did get. Uh, they call it. Uh, oh, come on, leg on the spider. Why is that? What is that? This is why I just run past them. Um, censored. Censored is the word I'm looking for. If you're playing the N64 version, you're definitely getting the original, um, 
songs and animations and everything. It's really just the 3DS version, I think, that's lost in. Maybe if they do a, a, a virtual wear kind of thing on, on the uh, Wii or something. Alright. Alright. There we go. Easy peasy. All right, this is why I like the big sword. All right, we could get ourselves another fairy, probably. Uh, now to get over to that side, yeah. Secret wall, secret platforms. Easy, look at this. Almost remembering how to play games. So there's gonna be... What, more keys in here? Another Reaper room? We're just gonna waste a couple arrows here. The only good Zelda games were the NES ones in this game? Uh, I liked, uh, I liked the Super Nintendo one, and I liked the Game Boy one, and I liked the Wind Waker. Well, there's, there's a few good Zelda games. Alright, so how are we going to do this room? We have to kill all the bats, maybe, this time? Are they invisible bats? No. I'm just stuck. That's good. Waste all your arrows, Blue. Who needs arrows? It's not like the boss needs arrows. It's okay, I got this. Super fidgety controls. I have heard that the, uh, the GameCube version I'm playing does tweak the sensitivity just a little bit. This was probably easier on the original 64. And we're out of arrows. Fine! We'll get him eventually. There we go. Well, you know, if I'd just been better with arrows, it would have been a little bit easier. Alright, don't get killed by the Reaper Man. Do you like everything but the CDI? Um, yeah, I mean, those ones barely count. I'm not a huge fan of uh, the 3DS ones with all the stylus controls and the... Um, what should I call it? There it is. And just the Phantom Train, all the hourglass stuff, that... Those ones were not my favorite. Oh, I was gonna say, there's just about made it through. There's no deadly sigh in there. Just run right through like it's nothing. Alright, let's continue. I do have lots of arrows though. So that one chest that had a stack of arrows, that might have been the first time in almost ever where a arrow chest was actually like a nice thing. Seeing as they're almost always a waste of your time. So this is the one where you jump on it. Well, at least they just reset us at the beginning of the room this time. I'm gonna have to switch to uh, uh, slower FPS for this jump. Clearly. It's not just me being dumb. It's literally impossible at 30 FPS. Let it fall. Go at actual enough time. I guess this room, maybe we should just leave it in um, slow FPS mode. It's just gonna be a lot easier. Alright, so I don't have any keys. Oh, I went the wrong way. My bad. 
Right? There's nothing I can do over here until I get it. Alright, let's go the other, other way. The laser leg the street. How rude. And there's, of course, one behind you. <laughs> the hardest the hardest coin to get is the one in the middle that's safe. Alright. Alright, now what? Oh, the smashy spike room. Alright. What does the sign have to say? Only one with the eye of truth will find the stone umbrella that protects against the rain of blades. Sounds hokey pokey. But here's your stone umbrella. Is there any spiders in here? I have a feeling there's going to be a gold or a not a gold sculpture, but you know what I mean. That a golden spider in here somewhere. All right, so we want to set this up kind of in the middle, right? So it hits both of them. Isn't that what we're supposed to do? Mr. Slow Spike there. I guess we've got a little ways to go. Hey, thank you, Grotham, very much. I appreciate the generous donation, as always. Thanks for showing up in the street. There it is. Little secret entrance here to a sneaky spider. Is this the GameCube version? How did you get the moon and star? Oh, it's a mystery. Like I said, I'm playing the non censored version. Didn't we just talk about that? For the CPU fund, yeah, I, uh, I am working on that. I've started to make a couple, uh, couple posts and all that. I even set up a Patreon, although I haven't really talked about that yet. But yeah, we're, we're working on getting some upgrades for the channel one of these days. To be honest, the compass in the Shadow Temple definitely helps out. Like, being able to see some of these hidden chests is actually quite nice. Alright, so how do we get up? Uh, is it a pull? Yeah, maybe I need to pull this thing all the way through and then jump on it. That makes sense. Uh, Patreon should be working. I haven't, like, publicly posted it yet, really. If you go to the Steam group, you can find a link. But otherwise, I haven't... I mean, I was just sort of fiddling with it the other day. I haven't... I haven't done as much with it as I was... As I intend to, but... We gotta start... All right. Frames. Now I'm gonna get spiked to death because of my animations. I don't think there's any way across. Like once you've, once you've um, once you've pulled this thing too far, if you fall down, you're basically just screwed. So this is kind of a lame dungeon again. I say lame. It's just it's not very compatible with my uh, my FPS hack. That's just just a little annoying. Because most of these hover boot jumps, I don't even think about because they're so automatic in the original game. And now I have to remember every time I'm doing a hover jump that maybe I need to slow the FPS down. Uh. Alright, it didn't really take very long. We're back. Put you down, go for run. Heal ourselves up. Look at all the bad leg. I guess you're just supposed to um, walk on top of them anyway, so I'm kind of... Maybe I was overthinking this anyway. Look at those awesome statues. Little 
ghost dogs. Alright. Classic blue making things probably more difficult than I need to. Alright, is this a uh, rusted switch? No. They look more like rats. Well, they could be ghost rats. Oh, you know, there was probably an invisible chest over there. That's that's probably what I missed. Where are we? So if we look at the map, we know there's still something here, right? Not even invisible. Just blue is, uh... Blue is blind. It's a blue is blind chest. The best kind of chest. And high rides? Uh, you're about 30 minutes late, maybe? <laughs> Don't worry, Grotham. <laughs> the tears on Patreon are almost all a joke. It's all just whatever people are happy with. Alright, so we've got my key. Let's head back to the spike room, or... I don't know what you call this one. The big room, anyway. And... We're almost done the Shadow Temple already. It's funny how when you know what you're... If, you, if you've done this dungeon before, it's really not the hard, hardest dungeon in the game. It's actually surprisingly short. I guess they probably sort of count... Um, I guess there's still a few more things to do, but... I figure they probably count... Um, what am I trying to say here? Uh, the well as part of the dungeon. <laughs> So, the amount of time it takes to actually clear Kakariko well as a kid is probably considered, you know, half of the actual Shadow Dungeon. Yeah, we had a... We, we did do the Poe thing where, um... I don't know if that was glitching or what, but, uh... I definitely had a hard time getting the, uh, the angle on one of the big Poe's. Alright, so mostly just gathering up silver coins. I think with the hover boots, yeah, you can just you can almost run right across those spikes. Probably if I play if I put the FPS down, I could just run right all over them. There we go. I thought there was one up there. Secret invisible hookshot platform. And there we go, door is open. But first, we're gonna go get a chest. Maybe? Um, is it an invisible chest? Uh, not invisible, just blind blue. That's all. If you if you do a month of blue tier, will I read a poem in Norwegian? Oh, that sounds terrible. I don't know about that one. <laughs> All right, so right, we got some bats. They might be on fire. There's a very sneaky spider that I definitely remember missing. This is one of the final. I think on my first hundred gold skull tulip collection, that was one of the spiders I missed till the very nearly the end. <laughs> Yeah, I I don't want to make promises for for special Patreon rewards. For the most part, those are you know just for fun. You know. <laughs> All right, so kill the bats. The door opens, but we need to get a key. Hope you brought your hover boots. I always felt like that was way easier with hover boots. I'm not sure if it was designed for you to run off the ledge like that, but it certainly made the throw easier. Oh yeah, the hover ship, that's coming up soon. There's a, a couple Stalfos on that or something, right? Yeah, that'll be fun. They're like a... I guess we're lucky. It feels like these little um, wall sconces, not sconces, wall murals, um, they could have put a Lens of Truth hidden hookshot platform behind them. That would have been sneaky. Yeah, we're gonna fall down and there's like a ghost ship somewhere, 
and uh, you'll see. Just stick around for five or so minutes. We'll probably be there. Wait, was there... There was a room I missed back there. Yes. Okay, hold on. Before we go this way... The hover boots are. It's, it's the bunny boots. It's totally the bunny boots. Wait. My... I'm in the wrong room. Jeez, never mind. I had it confused. I got confused again. Classic blue ankylo not paying good attention. <clears throat> no, I thought there was a. Uh, I thought this was like a, a three-way room, not just two. Because there's another room with a a uh, a fire like. The room over there we got the key out of, I think there's a mirror of that somewhere else in this dungeon with a, a different color, but the same basic room layout. I just forgot where it was. Oh, the fans! I forgot about the annoying fans. All right. Well, hopefully you can guess the solution to being blown around. The second place where the iron boots are useful. And then as soon as this one slows down... I'm not sure if that's slow enough. It's slow enough now. Then we switch back, we make sure we're in 20 FPS mode, and we run for our life. There we go. Alright. We're doing fine, easy. Other than the lag. The one downside with my cool HD texture, all that lag. If you think fans are. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Not all fans. Let's, let's say that. Not every fan is that annoying, but some might be. What's in there? Yeah, they're on the left. There's a uh, there's a secret over there. Right about here. It's not. A, I thought it'd be an arrow shooter. Is there an arrow shooter? It appears I was confused. I must be thinking of something else. Anyway, for this one, we can just let the wind do the work. Nope. Nope. Can't let the wind do the work. It was a good idea. Oh, I'm still not a huge fan of switching out boots every five seconds. I mean, I get it. It's a fine mechanic. I just wish there was a quicker way. That's all. Hello, Joseph. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, there's definitely some River Sticks vibe with the uh, the boat once we get to the bottom of the Shadow Temple for sure. Oh come on, I forgot the FPS again. <laughs> this this is so much easier than it looks. The only reason this is hard is because I I keep forgetting to to slow the uh, camera down basically. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm just gonna put a couple save states down because this is, this is a little bit much. We should be fine. This is not supposed to be hard. Like seriously, these these jumps with the with the hover boots are not even close to difficult. It's just my my awesome HD texture 30 FPS hacks have cut, they failed me. Right, so I usually just line up here, and as soon as the wind starts, you want the wind at full speed, right? And then we just run forward, easy. Yeah, look, there's no way to mess that up. 
All right, here we go. Now, last time we were in one of these rooms with the Gibdos or whatever we call them, someone was like, Blue, use the fire. Maybe not quite that voice. Fine. If it lags the scream out, I blame whoever recommended it. Well, he's on fire. It did not one-shot him though, guys. Sorry, your advice was not correct. Alright. <laughs> One way or another, the Gibdos mummy monsters are defeated. We are healed. And also, we got some nuts if you want some nuts. That's fine. So, what's the secret in here? Hidden chest, probably? Maybe bombs? Maybe Lens of Truth? Maybe both? I feel like this corner is suspicious. You might be thinking of Link to the Past, that's fair. It's fine, like, seriously, um... For the purposes of the Let's Play, I don't mind testing things out. I do have a habit of just using the sword to kill everything. <laughs> and uh, I know that there are probably a fair number of uh, enemy weaknesses if you use other other items. Hey, it's the ship we were talking about. The ship of the dead. Alright, so this is one of those weird spots, I think, where we can save a little bit of time with a certain song that most people forget about. Forget where you have to stand, though. Ghosts of the pots I've broken? That's not enough ghost pots, though. I'm fairly certain there's, there's a scarecrow spot here. I'm not sure how to actually trigger it, though, or like have the magic song work. Oh well, it's fine. I mean, the Biggeron sword is just so strong. It, it It's probably faster 9 times out of 10. But like like I was saying, I do like testing out unusual strategies that I normally never would try because it's, it's just kind of fun for the Let's Play to show off some of the options. There's definitely a golden spider in this room. The, the Scarecrow song usually works when Navi flies off and lights up a green spot like she did, just did there. But sometimes this positioning on where you're standing is really tricky. So like that's... Even though she's up there, I guess we don't have line of sight so maybe it doesn't work. Anyway, let's climb up here for now. I'm probably gonna need the Lens of Truth. Must be a little bit higher. A little bit higher, he says. Oh, this just led me back up here. Well, that was... <laughs> Remember this room early on? Where I decided not to fall down the pit? Isn't that hilarious? Actually, that's kind of nice. I guess that makes for a nice little backtrack. Kind of links up... The early portion of the dungeon with the later portion. Alright, so we need to get up higher. Let's climb the other side. I'm not sure if I've ever really taken that path before. I probably have, but I may have mostly forgotten. No sneaky chests? Maybe from here. I would like to start the scarecrow thing before we start the boat, basically. There we go. So I expect this is a scarecrow 
long shot locked spider. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you cannot make the jump from the boat. So you have to basically, uh, one of the few times where you need the actual, uh, the, uh, the Scarecrow song. Is that all the spiders in here, maybe? No, we're still missing a spider. In fact, I think I know where it is. By the big lake, kind of at the end. After we're done the, the boat section, there's a, a big lake kind of area. I think there's a spider up on one of the roofs, in, uh, up on one of the walls in there. Should we wait for Navi to tell us what to do? Whenever you see a Triforce, you play the Triforce song. It's easy. Or, or the triangle song, as you know. They could have had us, like, pay a coin to get across. Alright. Even the HD textures can't make the boat look good, unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, one down. <laughs> Remember when stealth forces were kind of difficult? Just chuck Navi in the river? That would be interesting. Just, no! <laughs> I was showing off my cool backflips. Alright, alright. I'm not sure if the hover boots made that better or worse, to be honest. I really just wanted to hear the triangle song one more time. I will say though, to be fair, one of the cool things with the emulator is you can do turn on anti-aliasing. Uh, and that gets rid of some of the jaggy pixel edges uh, that the, the base game has. So things look smoother on, on straight lines. And there's, however you pronounce it, uh, anti sophoric filtering, anti subter I have friggin' huge words, way too complicated for this angle. Yeah. See, the, the hopping on the boat is kind of weird. Because it bounces up and down. I was just trying to show off the physics were, were strange. And then we fell to our death. Yeah. You actually can hop backwards and kind of end up forwards. Because the game doesn't really keep track of, like, acceleration or anything. So, even though... If you're standing on a boat moving forward and you hop up, you actually would travel with the boat while you're in the midair. But in Zelda, you actually, uh... uh it's like the game doesn't keep track of links. Um, subject or objective velocity or whatever. Whatever I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's just weird. Oh no, it's sinking! Alright. Go ship, done. Funny, it's just a one-time ship. Just use it to get down and then it sinks. So we need to get across the chasm. Uh, there's another... Um, there's another scarecrow spot in there. But... what you're supposed to do. This only works if you're paying attention though, because I'm not sure if the game ever really teaches you that this is a base mechanic. But yeah, you can shoot bomb flowers, right? But I believe this is the proper way to cross the pit. So, teaching you all kinds of cool Zelda tricks. Anyway, before we go there, let's go check out this this room at the end. I don't think there's anything in here except maybe a spider, but I could be wrong. Maybe there's a key or something. Oh, this room. Oh, this room. There's definitely a key in here. All right, I changed my mind. This room, right. I missed a room. No! <laughs> Back on the other side of the boat. We missed a little room with a chest in it. How come nobody warned me I was missing a room? You guys were supposed to tell me. 
Oh well, we'll finish this corner off, fight the boss, and probably won't come back, but, you know, we'll see. I suppose, also, to make things easier in here... It'll be a lot easier if you can see the walls. That's good. Good shooting. Great shooting. Good job. Please shoot your hookshot, Link. All oh, right, and they get little, of course. All right, that's it. Sword time. I tried to use cool tricks. That's what I get for using alternate means of attack. Interesting that you can sword them through the wall, though. I wonder if that's a glitch. Alright, is this a trap? It's always a trap. No! My life! Or, I guess they steal your magic, is that what it is? <laughs> I, I wonder if it's the if it's the FPS again. Because it feels like they uh um they were getting their like they, they were kind of comboing me more effectively than they should be able to, getting getting all those attacks quick in a row. Maybe I'm just complaining, but it feels like that was faster than usual. Hey, we got a key, all right. Well, seeing as the pots were flying at me earlier, we're gonna continue to break all their brothers. So which way do we need to go still? Just look at the map. We're going through the room clockwise. And we're just gonna ignore the, uh, the hands. They're just a waste of time. Hey, it's the other pot room. Wonder if there's a way to tell which pot to throw the bomb in. Or maybe this was the spider that I always forgot. Remember the last room that was like this? Maybe this was the sneaky one. I don't suppose that's all the spiders. It is! Look at that, guys! We got all the spiders. So whatever's in that chest that we missed is probably just like five rupees or maybe some arrow refills or something. It's probably not worth going back for. Unless it turns out to be a small key, but uh, I can't imagine. Alright, everyone's favorite bomb minigame. That's good, just lag out more fun that way. Is that the right one? I think it would play a different sound effect if that was the... Yeah, that was some arrows. At least I got it. Two for two. Thanks, Nightbot, helping out the channel. Oh, I'm not going to make that one. Try again. Not going to make that either. We've got to line this up a little bit better, I think. Here we go, here we go. It, uh, <clears throat> I wonder, wonder why that didn't throw. Oh, no. So I got the first two so easily, and they gave me garbage. And then the one with the key in it is going to be all rude. I suppose I could probably slow the game down again and be a little bit easier. But... 
you really have just such a tight window to throw that on on this mode. Yeah, the chest I missed, it can't be anything important, so... It's either arrows or maybe bombs or some other garbage. It, it, I don't think there's any way for it to be value. Uh, I just, the, uh, the timing I keep picking these up on is just not good. There we go, we got it. And it turns out to be worthless rupees. Sorry, India, your ruples are valueless to me. Alright. Good job. That was very important. Very important. Very glad I did all that. Super important uh, little mini puzzles. It is the troll dungeon. The Shadow Temple probably has the most garbage. What the heck am I supposed to do in this room besides get spiked to death? Oh, I remember. You're supposed to cast Din's Fire really quickly, right? Do I have enough time? Burn the walls quickly before you get killed. There we go. That one, that one surprised me for a second. Almost forgot. Sorry, chat. You're way too slow. I would have been dead by then. Alright. Good thing we got the boss key, though, because I, I will need that. You can do bombs in there. Oh, interesting. I have always just used fire. Oh boy, five rupees. Alright, I think that is everything. Now, I suppose, to be fair, if we were ever playing a randomizer, I would need to remember blue... Don't forget all those random rooms with garbage chests, because those random garbage chests that have five rupees or arrows in them, in a randomizer, would actually be kind of important. So, I'll have to remember that later. Alright. You know, when I was a kid, I always thought this maze room was a lot larger than it actually is. It's actually, like, a very small room with, like, just a few walls, but... I sort of remember it just being much, much more of a pain. Now, I thought, yeah. I don't know if this helps us at all, but I'm going to do it just to show it off. Assuming the leg doesn't kill me. I think if you maybe ran out of arrows, this is your alternate way across. And it does get us a couple hearts, so that's great. Yeah, so you can either... Blow the pillar up with with uh, arrows and bomb flowers, or you can just use your song. And if you were better, that would get you to that part there too, if you wanted. It. Probably fairy arrows. Actually, arrows are good because we've got a boss that needs arrows and magic. Also, not the worst idea. No fairies before the boss this time. Shucks. Uh, I guess I should have kept my, um, whatchamacallit, uh, lens open. Oh, let me slow it down here just in case as well. Uh, what's the route I normally, is there, I think it's this way, is the way I normally go. We'll find out soon enough. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, uh, the best part. Ice physics. That's why I normally end up rolling, because rolling kind of locks you in a direction, whereas uh, not rolling means you slide everywhere. Well, we didn't get to read the plaque. We just fell right down with our bunny boots. Time for the spookiest boss. And also invented its own game. Donkey Kong's Bongo Bongo whatever music rhythm game. Certainly started with this boss fight. Bongo Bongo. Alright. Seems faster than normal. Seems way faster. Wow. 
it may be a terrible idea to play at full speed here. Wow, so fast! Also... Alright, I have a feeling 30 FPS is just not going to be an option. But we'll see. We got him once. Alright, we just got to man mode it. <laughs> it's so fast! Alright, we're close! Just gotta get good! No! <laughs> uh, okay, the good thing is I had some fairies. Wow! This is definitely harder than normal. Come on, get your lock. There we go. I almost beat him without needing a fairy. <laughs> On 50% faster mode. That, that's definitely a hard mode, Bongo Bongo. That was cool though. I like it. <laughs> Thanks, Rides. Yeah, we could have slowed him down, but that was more exciting, right? Better for the audience. Oh man, Twin Rove is going to be nuts on, on full speed. I might not have enough time to charge my shield, actually. Alright. Charge your hearts up. We need lots of hearts. And let's go visit another stage. Donkey Konga? There you go. That's the name. Makes up for the cringy first boss attempt? What was the first boss attempt? Hey, there's those ghost hands again. Did you see them? I don't think they had those for the other stages. The boy with the noble Zelda's ocarina. As I expected, you have come. Oh, Phantom Ganon? Well, he wasn't the first boss, but... But yeah, the super speed Phantom Ganon with the double lightning bolts was just... I don't know how you would even do that. That's broken. I am Impa, one of the Shiika. I am the caretaker, blah blah blah, sage, etc. We Shiika have served the royalty for many generations. Hyrule's castle surrendered, apparently. We didn't get to watch that giant uh, castle battle. No Game of Thrones for you guys. But yeah, we already know all about this. Because we opened the gates of time with our three magic jewels, you know, we ruined everything. If, uh... I guess also, if uh, Zelda hadn't thrown us the ocarina, we wouldn't have been able to enter that, uh... sacred realm with the Master Sword either, so... It's all her fault. Soon, you'll meet Princess Zelda for the first time. Will she explain things, though? I don't know. I don't know. You can catch the castle battle in Hyrule Warriors? Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. I've been meaning to maybe try that out one day. I kind of like the old Dynasty Warrior games. And, uh... I just haven't played very many of the offshoots like, like Hyrule Warriors. Or Fire Emblem Warriors, or whatever they called it. Alright, we got the purple coin! You know, that dungeon wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Find a princess. 